today I'm going to show you guys how to make cranberry sauce. I know, I, I know I'm a little late to this, but trust me, it is a great side dish for any kind of holiday uh, dinner. So what you're going to need is some cranberries. I got 12 ounces here. Sugar, a knob of ginger, an orange, uh, preferably cinnamon bark, but if you don't have that, you can use some ground cinnamon or even just this pumpkin pie spice. Um, all the ingredients or all the spices in here pair very well with the cranberry sauce. You can see cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, allspice, mm -hmm. and sulfiding agents, most important one. Then completely optional, but if you got some Grand Marnier laying around, a little splash of that. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to take your uh, deepest and widest sauce pan. You take the cranberries, just dump them all in. No heat yet, I should let you know about that right now. Oops. <laughs> Pardon the mess. You're going to take sugar, and a good uh, thing to remember is you want to do one cup of sugar for every 12 ounces of cranberries. That's 12 ounces of cranberries, one cup of sugar. Next, you're going to take your Grand Marnier. It's a little splash of it, not too much. If you're wondering what Grand Marnier is, it is a cognac and orange liqueur blend. You can usually find it at your uh, liquor store or if you live in Washington, your uh, local supermarket. You're going to take half an orange, squeeze all that in there, use a juicer if you got one. Trust me, it makes things so much easier. But if you can't get all of it out, that's fine because what we're going to do is we're just going to throw it in there. Take a knob of ginger and then a healthy dash of the spices that you have. Now you're going to turn on the heat to medium high. So in this case, maybe about an eight. And then you're just going to stir this, mix it all up, and then come back to it every so often, give it a good stir from time to time. You're going to want to cook this and let it simmer and reduce down for a good uh, 15 to 20 minutes. I'll uh, check back every so often and show you guys how it uh, comes together. As it all comes together, you're going to notice that a lot of work fluid is being drawn out from the cranberries. And I know this is still heating up and it's still getting up to a good simmer, but we'll uh, check back in a little bit and we'll show you the magic. Now at this point you can really see the uh, the cranberry sauce come together. So you're going to constantly want to stir that, you know, all the sugars are being cooked down, all the cranberries are being cooked down. Now at this point when you notice that your cranberry sauce is pretty much all broken down and it's like 90% there, uh, next thing you're going to want to do is put the heat down to about medium, medium low, and it's to continue to let this reduce and let it cook. Be sure to keep stirring so that way nothing, uh, nothing burns. At this point in the process where you can see when you're stirring around, you can just drag through it with a spoon that leaves a clean streak like that. You're going to want to taste it. Taste it for seasoning, taste it if it needs a little bit more time cooking down. Let's uh, give that a taste. Hmm. Very sweet, very tart. Tastes just like Mama's cranberry sauce. But if you do want to thin it out a little bit, which I am going to do, just want to take a little bit of water, just a little bit, pour it in, and then get it back up to a simmer. You want to continue to cook this down and keep tasting it just to make sure that most, if not all, of the bitterness from the cranberries has gone away. But now that it has, we're just going to kill the heat, take it off the heat. And once it cools down a little bit, you want to fish out your nettables, your orange peel, your ginger, and whatever. And then store it for later. You can either can it, or you can just put it in the fridge. It will keep for a week, but if you can it, it will pretty much keep forever. Or if you just put it in the freezer. But anyways, that is how you make some good old-fashioned cranberry sauce. So if you guys like this recipe, uh, please let me know. I would love to do more of these in the future.